182 centimetres tall, 54 fights on his record, 38 victories, 15 defeats and one draw. There you can see the tail of the tape for this one. Petniom, eight years the younger of Sinkao. Similar height, 182 centimetres. And a lot more fights, a lot more experience, as you would imagine. Goes to the White Lion, Sinkao, at 30 years of age. Both looking in tremendous shape there. You can see both performing there, Y Crew. The Thai Fight League tournaments, of course, have been a great success. And we're happy now to introduce the 69 kilogram tournament here. The rest of the fights tonight will be the tournament fights in both Group A and Group B. So how it works is we've got four fighters in Group A, four fighters in Group B. They will all fight each other, as in the fighters from Group A will all fight, the fighters from Group B will all fight. And then at the end of that, the top two fighters in each group will then move through into what we like to call the Group of Death. It won't be a semi-final, then a final. Again, when they move through to that Group of Death, they will all compete against each other. And then the top two from that group will then compete at a big tie fight, we believe, and then we'll name a champion. It is a grueling task, to say the least, to get through to that group of death and then to, again, like I said, to be in the top two of that group to get through into the final is, is gruesome in itself. So a long potential road ahead for these two fighters who are going to lead the dance here in the tournament of 69 kilograms. I like that though, Group of Death. <laughs> um, it's unofficially named the Group of Death. Me and Kevin call it that. But yeah, has a nice twang to it, let's say. But for all those watching, all 3K of you are watching on the stream, you might want to just rewind just a little bit and go back to watch the knockout that you might have missed from our third bout of the evening where Pet Pack Mai delivered a left hand from absolute hell onto Gao A, knocking him into, a lot of people on the stream are saying into next week, I'm saying next year. We just hope he's okay and able to fight again one day, but yeah, that was pretty brutal. Just the way he delivered it was just so textbook, stepping off, throwing the left hook at the same time when Gao A was throwing the left body kick. Yeah, world class, I'm looking forward to this matchup as well. So the referee in charge of the action here is Mr. Pukit. Paran Pratyun. Okay, so this is going to be interesting, Aaron. 69 kilograms. These two, lots of experience between them. Two very similar statures as well. But I have to say, Petniom looking in tremendous shape in the black corner. There he is. Yeah, I was going to say, both of them look like absolute units for 69 <laughs> kilograms. Do. They do indeed. 182 centimetres tall, competing at 69 kgs. Pretty tall. So let's see how they can adapt to fighting under card, Chirk. Round one underway. Here we go. Nice low kick there, off the bat by Petniom. Nice right kick to the body, though, in reply by the White Lion. So both fighters orthodox, but Petniom still on the front foot, looking to cause a lot of damage with the low kicks and the boxing combos. Yeah, I can see that he already threw a right low kick that I feel like hurt. Sinkau, straight away from that bell. And yeah, he's going after that lead left leg of his all the time there, throwing a right high kick. Left kick to the body in reply from Sinkau, knee to the body that time by Petniom. It's a good start, a good aggressive start. By, by petting on in the black corner. Singhao having a bit of a conservative approach at the moment, but don't think that's a good idea at the moment. Good elbow there by Singhao, but once again, I have to say that Petniom, if he wants to continue to throw kicks to the leg, I believe that might be a pathway to victory. Better block, just as I say that though, by Singhao. He's gonna have to continue to block those kicks. Left knee to the body. In the clinch, it does look like that Petniom is the stronger of the two when you're on here in this round. Back to the center of the ring they go. Both standing in that orthodox position. 
right kick attempted to the midsection. Good block there. More aggression being shown here by Sinkau. He then attempts a right elbow. That was a better rally there from Sinkau. And great control of his in the clinch, controlling the biceps of Petniom and getting the last save with, the, with that left knee. Attempted left hook there coming in by Sinkau. Swinging left by Petniom. While Sinkau against the ropes here, trying to deliver some knees to the body within that clinch. Yeah, great head positioning there from Petniom. Keeping his head nice and low and almost in the neck of Sinkau so he doesn't get elbowed. There's an elbow there that sneaks through from Sinkau though. Yeah, that was beautifully timed. And again, that left elbow. So Petniom pushing forward, but also walking into elbows. I think there's a cut, there is. And the referee straight away has spotted it and he's going to ask the uh, medical team here to take a look. Hopefully, he's okay to continue. The worry is though that that blood is dripping into the eye. It's difficult to see. Says he's fine to continue. There we go, the blood bath is on. Problem is now, he's going to have to defend that hairline cut. And what Sinkau is going to do, he's going to attack it and try and open it up more, but there's blood pouring into the eyes now of Petnio as Ali moves his stuff away from the commentary room because he knows the blood is going to fly. It's going to start raining blood soon. And you know, it, it, you felt like, being honest, that Petnio was up on the, I mean, the upper hand in this fight. But that can happen in Muay Thai. All it takes is one elbow to slice open your opponent. That's but the danger. Early on, Sinkhau snuck, snuck a punch through. Okay, that's it, end of round number one. See you in round two. Okay, so let's take a, take a look at the replay here. As I was saying just before the end of the round, I think Sinkhau sneaked through a shot at some point because he started bleeding. There's some bleeding that started from Petniom's nose. And then, I, it must have been that elbow there Absolutely. that caused the cut. Oh, there you go. It was that elbow, that right elbow, right through the guard on the top of the hairline. And that just, the blood just started streaming out. Yeah, you can see that when Sinkhau pushes forward, I'm sorry, when Petniom pushes forward, his guard's wide open. Sinkau was able to scout that and found that perfectly timed elbow that sliced open. That's going to be a big problem though, it really is for Petniom. We've applied the Vaseline, let's see how that holds. It's only going to take a couple of jabs or a couple of soft punches just to get that blood stream oh. again. Yeah, you can see though, that's boy the mood of Sinkau. He's happy to push forward now. And when they're in the clinch as well, be careful, you might try and rub that Vaseline away from that yes. cut. It's an interesting one now we've got on our hands. Things to think about here. Move, moving forward, almost a clash of heads that time. That's not good. If you're Petniov, the knees to the body there. By Petniov once again is still pushing forward and yeah that cut is wide open once again the blood's just pouring out of it you can see the cameraman is trying to show you but great work in the clinch from both these two both swimming their arms through for a better position and a bit of a stalemate there referee breaking it up swinging right hand attempted but another beautifully timed double cut within the clinch there once again by Sinkau See the referees trying to take a big look again at that good. There's blood all over Sinkau now, and that's not his blood, by the way. That's from Petniov. I feel like the referee once again might have to ask the doctor to take a look at it. Yeah, had a quick look at it there, but resume the action. Big left body kick from Sinkau on the back foot. Oh, good right hand there again. He eats another elbow every time he moves in. Looking for a clinch, his hands are down. Sinkau throws an elbow and connects as a pattern of play. And for whatever reason, Petniom just cannot adjust. Petniom just not bringing his hands back to his guard as soon as he throws that, his punch combinations are getting to close range. And the blood is streaming down his face, Aaron. Yeah, Sinkau, perfectly timed. Counter striker here. Petniom once again, and I think there's three or four cuts now. And like you said as well, blood 
flowing from that nose. Let's have a look. Let's see if the doctor will allow him to continue. He is a mess. It looks like a truck's hit him. It's okay. A lenient medical staff here on Thai fight. Good low kick there by Petnion. Right kick to the body, right hand. Power strikes once again, being thrown and connected by Sinkow. This is great tactics from Sinkow. He just needs to wait for Petnion to come to him, and he does. What great left hook lands for Sinkow as Petnion keeps coming forward. Sinkow is very good at controlling the hands as well. You can see that he, he, he doesn't care if Petnion is pushing forward. And once again, a counter strike there by the white line to end round number two. Stay with us, the third and final. Okay, so let's take a look at the replay here. Great work from Sinkow on the back foot. And like Aaron pointed out, he did a great job controlling the hands in the clinch, which really helped him find the openings for these elbows. He just positions himself very well, lines himself up, and out of nowhere just catches Petniom off guard and slips his elbows straight through the guard, causing several cuts. Yeah, Petniom is showing great aggression, but he's being careless. And Sinkow showing great experience, great composure, and finding those counter strikes. Time. All right. A lot of the people on the stream are saying that Petniom is on borrowed time. Well, we'll find out. We'll see. It definitely is. Well, but we've had it tonight. Huge comeback from yeah, Pep Hatmai, who got absolutely. it done in round two. Can Petnion get it done in round three? Here we go. Straight away, you can see Petnion sticking to that rhino bull style of pushing forward relentlessly. And yeah, good kick to the body that time. The right hand before two, but there's that right elbow again in the clinch from Sinkow. And just Getting the better of Petnium in that clinch exchange, straight knees up the middle before the referee breaks it up. Yeah, 100%. And if the other fighters in this group, in Group A, are watching, they're going to have to learn from this. They're going to have to learn that Sinkow is very, very adept at fighting in a full move, shall we say. And look at him here, trying to take out Petnium. He's coming there, he's going to go away from Petnium. Sinkow showing more aggression, not counter striking. But this time, putting it on Petnium with beautiful left and right hooks and even more elbows. Somehow, Petnium is able to stay on his feet. It's the straight knees up the middle now that Sinkow is really racking up some good points. And those straight knees to the body are going to take a lot of power away from Petnium. See how he's backing off and starting to breathe heavy now. Absolutely, those white ropes, those card shirts, they're now pink. After mixing it with all that blood, which is all coming from Petnion. Here he goes, Petnion walking forward towards Sinkow. Left high kick there from Sinkow. I feel like I can almost smell the blood right now. That metallic taste. I hope it's not in my mouth. It could be, you know. I mean, Petnion's face just looking like a butcher's block at the moment. Blood <laughs> completely covered in it. Who remembers that shower scene from the beginning of the Blade movie? <laughs> Unbelievable action here on Thai Fight League. You don't see action like this anywhere else. Beautiful right hand once again coming in by Sinkow. And there, oh my goodness. Pouring from the three or four spots there on the face of Petnion. This might be the last time we see him, to be honest. I don't know if he's going to have time to recover and fight again in a, in a month's time. Hopefully he is, but my goodness. We might need a plastic surgeon. You see now, Petty, I'm not in a hurry as we end the third and final round of what was a gruesome war here on Thai Fight League. Oh my God, what a shot that was. The water being pulled. Oh. Not so handsome anymore. We'll get the official decision and then what we'll be doing is we'll be heading over to both fights.
three. Oh, let's have a look at the highlights from round number three. Yeah, Go. it was the handiwork, wasn't it, in the clinch from Sinkow that just racked him up points. Knees to the body, and like you pointed out earlier, the elbows. Yeah, impeccable, absolutely impeccable by Sinkow. If you were to look at the fighters at the end of the fight, you might think it was a war, but to be honest, it wasn't. It was pretty much all one-sided. Sinkow, it will take the victory here, I'm sure. Delivering, like Ali was talking about, that close proximity fighting, those elbows, just doing the damage here and winning the fight for Sinkow. What a performance. And he will have two fights, two points, sorry, in Group A. Let's get the official. และผู้ที่ได้2คะแนนแรกนะฮะในการสะสมที่ชบครกยกครบยกและได้คะแนนนะครับ and the winner is white corner สิงค้า from สงขลา